Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna go over the details for part two of the Destiny 2 Into the Light developer live stream that went live earlier today. Spoiler alert, if you don't wanna know any of these details, please click off the video now. I'll give you seven seconds. If you're still here, you have been warned. So. If you missed part one, I will actually put part one in an annotation at the top right of the screen right now, or you can watch it at the end of this video. But before we continue on with the video, this video is brought to you by Hyper Controllers. They are the first company to ever put Hall Effect thumbsticks inside a PS5 controller, which means no stick drift. You can customize your own controller or shop for a pre-made one. You can customize a controller for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC with custom shells, extra paddles or buttons with a remappable chip, Hall effect sensors, mouse click bumpers and triggers, and much more. Hypercontrollers offers a one year warranty on all of their controllers. You can check them out by going to hypercontrollers.com and you can use promo code RXRP to save 5% off your order. Okay, to start things off, when Into the Light is actually released, we are getting a new social space called the Hall of Champions. This social space will be in the current Destiny 2 tower and not the D1 tower as many people have been assuming over the past few weeks, given all the PR for the final shape. Prior to entering the social space, you will enter an area that is pretty much like a storage facility for all of the D2 event props. Once you actually enter the Hall of Champions, there will be a huge open area filled with many chests in the center of the room that requires Shaq's reputation and trophies of bravery in order to open them. You obtain trophies of bravery by completing waves of onslaught. In short, onslaught is a new defensive activity, which is pretty much like a horde mode. Now, these chests in the center of the room unlocks armor that is inspired by the year one of Destiny 2 parade armor that we got after the Red War. And all armor will be available to everyone who plays Into the Light. Weapons on the other hand are in a different chest and location within the Hall of Champions. These weapons are called the Brave Arsenal and are a little bit closer to Lord Shax. The chest with the Vanguard insignia is for the Brave Arsenal weapons, but the chest with the gold is the chest that will help you get to the power cap, not the pinnacle cap. So if you are already at the pinnacle cap like myself, then the gold chest won't do anything for you except maybe get gear to turn into ornaments. Getting back to the weapons and probably the most important part of this developer live stream, we have a lot of returning weapons. So let me go ahead and list them off for you. We have the Recluse, which is an SMG, Mountaintop, which is a grenade launcher, Fallen Guillotine, which is a sword, Hammerhead, which is said to be the best machine gun ever in Destiny history, Blast Furnace, which is a pulse rifle, as well as Hung Jury, which is a scout rifle, Succession, if I am correct, is a sniper rifle. I've never had one, so I don't really know. Then we have Midnight Coup and Luna's Howl, which are both hand cannons. Elsie's rifle, which is the stranger's rifle, just renamed, because she's no longer a stranger anymore. That is a pulse rifle. Forbearance, which is another GL, as well as Edge Transit, which is also a uh, grenade launcher. Before I go into any detail about each weapon, you need to have 100% the corresponding DLC in Destiny 2 in order to get one of these specific weapons. For example, you need to have Forsaken in order to get either Luna's Howl or Hammerhead. And I'm assuming this is because Bungie wants to make a little bit more money before the final shape if you haven't already gotten those previous DLCs and actually want to get these weapons. Now, all of these weapons will have updated perk pools and will still have their respective origin traits like Luna's Howl having Magnificent Howl, but it will be a little bit nerfed because it was said that the old version of Magnificent Howl would be too strong in today's meta. And this same goes for the Master of Arms perk, which has also been toned down for the same reason. A new origin trait is making an appearance as well called Indomitability, where Final Blows grant grenade energy when playing a light subclass or melee energy when playing a darkness subclass. There will also be a new trait called Last Stand where weapon final blows grant bonus damage. Melee and grenade final blows grant a larger damage bonus that can stack. And it is possible to get one of these weapon rolls with Last Stand 
and with the origin trait indomitability, which will work together in amazing synergy. These weapons will have three different versions for you to obtain. We have a base version with random rolls, a curated roll that you will be able to get by completing bounties, and a limited edition roll that has a low drop chance but has double perks in the third and fourth columns. However, once the final shape is released, you will be able to enhance all of the Brave Arsenal for stronger perks. But only the limited edition rolls have a different look to them than the original counterparts. Also, while doing Onslaught, if there is a specific weapon you want to hunt for, you can by heading to the Hall of Champions first, and on the left and right sides of the room will be a hollow statue of Shax. Each statue will have a brave weapon in his hand. As you approach these statues, you can attune the specific weapon that you want to get. You can attune the specific weapon that you want to get, and you will actually see higher drop rates of that weapon at the end of the final waves of Onslaught. But you have to actually unlock attunement first. Once unlocked, you can attune and deactivate attunement as you see fit. These final waves are after each 10 and 50 waves of Onslaught. As I mentioned earlier, all of the weapons have updated perk pools. Bungie said that they will release a more in-depth chart, I think like tomorrow via Reddit, about all of the weapons and all of the updated perk pools that they have, but we'll go over just a few honorable mentions that we actually seen in the live stream today. Starting with Blast Furnace, which can actually roll with Headseeker or Kill Clip. And if I'm correct, Headseeker is probably the roll you want on it. Fallen Guillotine can roll with Eager Edge or the combo of Repulsive Brace and Destabilizing Rounds. Hammerhead can roll with Rampage and Killing Tally, which we would all love, no pun intended. Mountaintop has a new perk pool, but also has a new and interesting internal ability. You can actually shoot the ground with Mountaintop and it will send you flying into the air. Not extremely high, but high enough. Midnight Coup will still have the highest aim assist in the game for hand cannons. And the exotic Manicor SMG, which while is not a brave arsenal weapon, will be updated as well. For its update, its extrinsic perk will now give you a void overshield and will no longer activate by going downstairs and the activation can now be canceled. Now, the base versions of the Brave Arsenal weapons will be available in the final shape, but not the limited edition versions. So if you want the limited edition versions, which has the double perks in each column and the different look, you need to farm for them before the final shape. If you don't get your hand on limited edition version during Into the Light while playing Onslaught, then you are out of luck. The current weapon ornaments for Luna's Howl and some of the other weapons will be able to be equipped to the new Brave Arsenal versions and sometime during Into the Light, they will also be available for Bright Dust in the store, which is also good news. For the last bit of news though, Lord Shax is the vendor for Onslaught and he will house the rank rewards, which includes the Super Black Key Alpha at rank 17 that helps to unlock the super black shader from D1. Yes, it is back. And I am super excited to get my hands on the super black shader once again. You have no idea how much time I'm trying to mix and match things just to make it everything all black, but it is back and I'm so excited. Oh, and Shax has bounties too. Lord Shax is the vendor. However, our site 9940 is the quest giver and he will hold all of the quests his own set of bounties and additional rewards, which could possibly be a second super black key needed to unlock the shader. Now I'm going to assume that there are three keys to unlock the super black shader. Shax has one, our site 99 has the other, and then I'm pretty sure you may have to win the last one while playing onslaught. They didn't mention how to get the last key, but I'm pretty sure that's probably how you do it. Speaking of rewards, while doing Onslaught and completing 10 waves of enemies, you will get one chest for completing the normal difficulty, two chests for a higher difficulty, and three chests if you 
complete a higher difficulty while keeping the ADU alive the entire time. And last but not least, we will be getting 100 more vault spaces. Yay! But I think that's actually during the final shape, not into the light. But they did mention it. Um, I could be wrong though. It could be into the light, but I guess we're gonna have to see. So far, that is everything we know from the Destiny 2 Into the Light Developer Livestream Part 2. Next week, April 2nd at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Bungie will be doing their Part 3 of the Into the Light Developer Livestream, and I will be streaming that on my channel on twitch.tv forward slash reckless XRP, and I will also be doing a Part 3 video for that as well. Let me know if this information helped you guys out at all, and also, which weapon you are most excited about from the Brave Arsenal. For me, it definitely is 100% the Luna's Howl, and it'll probably be the first weapon that I actually hunt for, given that I love PvP. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.